Hello students, welcome back to English Grammar class. So in the last video we studied chapter number 8 when to use the quantifiers means many, few, some, any, a lot. So today we are going to solve the exercises of that chapter. Here in your exercise first you have to cross out the wrong option. So I have crossed out the wrong option with yellow marker. You will be doing it with pencil. First one, let us read it out post. Do you have dash information about River Saraswati? So if you want positive answer, then what you will say? Do you have any information about the you cannot ask that you have some information. You will ask no, that any information you are having. The guide says, yes, I have some information. Now, if we don't have any information, then how we will say? But he is having information, so he says, I have some information. Post. Where there dash other cities found on her bank? So here again, you will be asked, is there any other cities? So you will use any. Again, the guide will say yes. Some cities were on the bank of river Saraswati. Post. Dash people think all cities were on the bank of river Indus. Means some people used to think different differently, right? So here, some people think that all the cities were on the bank of river Indus. Is there? Any evidence to prove that Saraswati existed? Like, yes, definitely. There is some information, important information in the Rig Veda. Post. Isn't there any other proof? If, the, if you are asking any question, then you will be using any. Okay. If you know that there will be some information, then only you will be using some. But here you are asking the question, so you will be using any. So if you are using any interrogative sentences, mostly you will be using the word any. Right. Satellite images show some interesting features too. So here you are clear when you are going to use some and when you are going to use any. If you are asking any question, you are going to use any. And if you are giving any answer in which you are having something, then you will use now. Clear? Now, exercise B. Here you have to match the beginning and the end of the sentences. So, here, how you will be doing it in your textbook, you will be giving the numbers like this. Here I have written the numbers. So, you can write the numbers in your textbook like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now let us read the question. Would you like to have? So would you like to have some chocolates? Here you will not say any chocolate. Why? Because you will need some chocolate. No, you don't want negative answer. Second one. No, thank you. I never like any chocolate. Now here see negative answer came. So any chocolate. We have not used some chocolate. Here we have used any. Because negative. If anything is negative, then we will be using any. Oh, I made them without any help from mom. Now here you have not taken any help from mom. So of course we will use any help. Then, really, can I test some then? Now here you if you want to test. Do not say no that you any to test. Use some to test. Yes, sure. I have hardly added any sugar. I know you don't like it. They are delicious. Shall I take some for grandpa? Now, if you want to take for grandpa again, you will not use any. You will use some only. Yes, of course. We never fail to appreciate any food I make. Okay, so this way you are going to take the answers in your textbook. You are not going to match it like small case. You will be writing the numbers 
on both the sides now exercise c you have to choose a word from the box below to go with the noun first one is dash bird so here what we will be using a word now if you want bread how you will ask you will ask no give me some bread right so some bread now if you want chocolates then what you will be using a lot of right you love a lot of chocolates so you will use a lot of chocolate if you are using the word holiday again it's a holiday for flowers you will use many flowers and for milk a little you don't like milk so you will use a little milk okay so this way you are going to fill this answers now exercise b here this exercise you will be doing by yourself i'm not going to give the answers for this but i'm explaining you how you are going to do and this exercise will not come in your exam it is just for your practice and to improve your english okay so what is the question let us understand work with a partner here you can work with your friend or even with your brother or sister okay it is not compulsory to go to your friend's place even you can work with your father or mother also what you have to do imagine that both of you have taken two different space ship and have landed on two different planets so where we are living students we are living on earth right so what you will be doing you both whatever partner and you you both will be going to different plan planets in two different space ships and you will land on different planets now send an email to your partner from your planet describing what you see on your planet now suppose if you have landed on earth you know here water is there air is there all are living and whatever animals birds so many things are there you know about earth but you don't know about any other planet right if you will search or if you are very eager to know then some there are some planets and only studies are going on that in few planets water is there like many thing many information you will get so you will be you will just imagine you will not i don't want a perfect answer you will just imagine in your mind and you will write whatever you want to write you can talk about the landscape you can talk about the vegetation habitation habitation means where you are living vegetation means whatever planets are there landscape means whatever uh, good things are there mountains and uh, this uh, snowfall and everything you can mention it should be fun and creative and remember you have to use some a lot of a few many much not much not many and a little so this words you have to use without forgetting because in this chapter we have understood this word and for that only this question is given so you are going to practice this all words you are going to write a paragraph back side full empty page is given in your book so in that book itself you write it with pencil and you have to send me the image of your answers i will be checking your answers i will assign this in your assignment in your google classroom okay so you are having enough time think be creative be funny and write this down okay bye bye have a nice day